Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mani Kandan. So today I'm going to tell you about how we can install Netcat application in Windows machine because the default uh, Netcat application is not available in Windows machine. So we need to download and we need to install that file in Windows machine so that we can perform some uh, file transferring task and we can perform a remote execution, remote code execution and a reverse code execution. There are a lot of features available in the Netcat. So uh, last video we had discussed about what is Netcat and what is the purpose of Netcat. You can go through that. You can go through and watch this video. You can and uh, you can understand what is the purpose of Netcat. Let uh, so in this video, I am going to tell you about how we can install Netcat application. So that I just, uh, I just, we just want to go nmap.org. So in this web page, uh, we need to select. Uh, it will display the latest package details. Okay. So nmap.org. Click enter. Then you can select uh, uh, nmap version 7.80. Once you have selected this option, then it will uh, add to download the file self installer once you have selected this file then it will start download the file so already i had uh, downloaded that so just want to run that file uh, click op open okay i agree yes in um, nmap setup there are a lot of annual features are there like nmap core files register nmap path and capture file np capture file and network performance improvements on the genmap netcat so this is our requirement so better you can select all those features are in nmap because those are very useful when you are performing network related task so i simply select all those options in under a nmap setup so again i need to select and next uh, then click install Uh, and one more thing, uh, before uh, start any installation like uh, the net, net uh, nmap related application, you better you can stop your antivirus production because uh, while installation time, the ESET, uh, ESET or whatever it is in your install system, it will check the set, uh, it, will, it will try to protect that file or a, it will suspect any installation files uh, related to the antivirus so that it will uh, it, it will block or it will uh, cancel the installation process so better you can uh, stop the antivirus before starting starting the installation process okay so uh, okay it asked for yes because already the npcap files are available in my system so it uh, so that it asking for replacement but i simply click yes Okay, I agree. Then uh, install, click install. Okay, you just some time. So I will I just I will go to the pass my video session because the installation process uh, takes uh, so much time. So I just to pass once installation completed, then I will receive the rest in that video. And I will I want to tell you after the installation process, I click the pass. Uh, hello guys, thanks for uh, um, waiting for my video. So the installation is completed. Let's move on. Uh, access the NetCut application. First, we, we need to ensure that uh, NMAP directory has created or not. Uh, that window, it got in Windows. The system 32. Oh, sorry, uh, program files. I need to go. Uh, program files, C drive. Yeah. 
in map that they has created and i just want to confirm that uh netcard files are there in that Yeah, see, uh, this one. So in under nmap directory, um, that nk dot exe files are there. So I just, I just want to go, go to my uh, Windows, like change it to directory cd c colon c program files in eighty six. I just want to open one more thing. Okay, netcat.exe files are there. Uh, available. So in cat dot exe hyphen l v v e type random port. Sorry, netcat.exe. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, so that command is ncat.exe hyphen alvp. Uh, I just don't open any random book. Okay. Okay, then it will start listening the port number. So the uh, six four two five three is a random motor. So now we can perform in your reverse code execution on the remote code execution. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.